Hi folks. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to continue with the flow analysis and we will make this external flow analysis on the model of the Dot Challenger, which I have downloaded from the grabcat.com. And quickly, I'd like to show you that we cannot forget on the real-time rendering with the Creo. So I have tried to make some coloring and some quick scene preparation and setup of the appearances. If you would like to know more about the rendering, please check my previous tutorial. So let's jump to flow analysis. Simple, we can close the render studio and we can jump to application and flow analysis. So what we can do, we can change the preferences of the shading with edges and we can see the simplified model. In the structure, you can see that I have created one assembly as the, the challenger and over there was the download the 3D model and over there was some definition. So thank you for this 3D model. Also, I have simplified and every internal models has been removed from this model because we don't need it for the analysis and I like to use the quick selection. So let's start. If you will click the flow analysis, we know from the previous tutorial that we have to first of all define the project. Simple click and specify name. And for now we can use the default name and confirm OK. Also in previous tutorial, we have used the wizard, but we would like to also understand the all additional icons, functionality and tree from the flow analysis features. So today I'd like to show you how we can do and specify the external flow analysis one by one by selection from the menu. Also, you can use the wizard and but check previous tutorial for the internal flow analysis. Okay, so let's start. What we need to do is the select simulation domains. Simple to say, we have to select the object as the other the solid component, and we can now simple select with right mouse button the necessary assembly or 3D model. If you will hit the OK, the system will specify and select all necessary object. Yes, of course, you can use the control button and specify object by object one by one. It was reason that I create my subassembly for the quick selection. When I hit the OK button, the system will prepare all necessary information and domains are set. But if we will select the domain from the tree, we can see the type is the simulation and we would like to use and change as the regular and also we would like to change from the interior mesh location. We would like to go and select exterior volumes because we would like to use the exterior analysis. As you can see, the system create for us the bounding box as the uniform. So everything is based on the sum values, but we would like to create our custom one. So I will specify node uniform. What does it mean? We can change from the drop down menu the minimum and maximum size. For now, relative value is 0 0.5. And we know that in the y direction, yeah, we would like to stick the floor. So I will specify 0, 0 for y. And the system will really create a floor for me and it will be stick to the wheels. Now, if we will go on the bottom, over there is the functionality generate mesh. I will hit the generate mesh and now the system will generate the necessary attributes and mesh for the assembly. When the mesh is created, we are able to specify the physics. So please select physics module and we would like to calculate turbulence so put it to the right side and also streamline. We will close it. And now as the second step is, we have planned to specify the boundary conditions. From the tree, we can select the general boundaries and we will see a couple of 
predefined boundaries. If you will select it, the system will show you if it is right, left, top, or front surface. Yes, of course, you can use the right mouse button and rename. For now, we don't need to rename it. We will select it one by one if necessary. So with the control button, you are able to select more boundaries. With the specification on the bottom, you are able to change that flow, is changed from wall, and we will use for these left, right, and top walls, we can call them, or boundaries, it will be a specified pressure outlet. And what is the speed of our car? We can say that is the 25 meters per second. In reality, it's a 90 kilometers per hour. Yeah, so no 90s, I'm sorry, 25 meters per second. Over there is the question, which direction? I don't want to use it for the Y orientation, sorry. We have to check the coordinate system. We would like to use the Z orientation. So in the Z direction, we will specify that will be minus 25 meter per second. In reality, 90 kilometers per hour. Arrow will be oriented. If necessary, you can specify the pressure. For this example, we don't want to specify the addition of value. The speed is good enough. The bottom is the standard wall as stationary. So what does it mean? We don't want to change the bottom surface preferences. We can continue. The front surface or front boundary, we can specify it as velocity because over here we will create a wind for the movement. And what will be the wind, wind speed? It will be, we can say that it will be normal orientation and will be as before 25 meter per seconds. Great. Over there is the question, if we would like to create also the streamline, what does it mean? We would like to simulate the necessary arrows of the orientation and calculation. So yes, of course, please create. And how many particles will be created? I think that for this big car or muscle car we can call here, it will be approximately 40. Maybe it's good enough. If not, we can increase the number of the created particles. I'll show you later again what does it mean. And last but not least is the backside. So when we will specify it, again, we will change it. And for over here, we would like to really use only that will be specified pressure outlet without values because over there will go away everything. All necessary boundaries condition are set so we can close it. And as you can see from top to bottom, we have specified the physics. Also, we have specified domains and boundary condition. Last but not least, it's the running the calculation and get to results. So let's hit the run button. And when we will change the preferences of the boundary condition selection, the system will start visualization. As you can see now, blue arrows are created and the system still calculate. In the X, Y plot panel, you can see that for now we have only five iteration. So at the background, the system will still calculate and more and more iteration and the result will be more accurate. Here you can close this window and for now we can select and play a little bit with the result. So if I will select the result, we are able to see the streamline and if you will hit the streamline, the streamline will be visualized. Over here, you can jump in the model tab and see necessary information or if you will jump to view tab, you can see and manage what kind of streamline you would like to use what is the high radius, if you would like to see the arrow, yes or no, or maybe change the size, or some graphics area. Yes, so the system will automatically allow to you make some changes and visualization. If we will jump back to 
XY plot panel, we will see that now we have a 16 iteration, so slowly and surely the system still calculate. If you would like to see the different kind of the number of the streamlines, we can jump in the boundary condition and select the outside surface and then specify, for example, how many colors you would like to see. So, for example, from A, you can jump to more colors and also we can jump to model tab and have a look on the preferences which has been specified. Yeah, and number of particles for the streamlines. Now you can change because maybe it's less or you would like to have more or less. We can say yes, so we can change it, for example, to 50 and the system will change it for you. So now it's only we can say about the playing with the numbers and the system will still show you the result and more and more information in the better quality. If we will hit the XY plot panel, the system will recalculate all necessary things. And now we can see that is the 25 iterations calculated and still will be running yet when the will be hit the maximum proper values. It really take time. So the recommendation is to use the powerful computer. I like to focus on another information. So for example, if we will use the orientation and for example, we will orient to right, we would like to have and create a section view. Yeah, so if I will hit the section view, the system will allow to me to select which plane is there. Yeah, for example, it will be plane X, Y, Z. For now, I orient to 2D because it will be better orientation. And what kind of calculation you can see in this preview window, it's up to you because you can specify the variable. And for example, you can change from the pressure that, for example, you would like to see the velocity magnitude or velocity in the Z direction. So maybe we can change the velocity Z direction and the system will calculate what are the preferences and how the turbulence are there. And you can see the all necessary values. Yeah. If you will change from the Z direction, maybe we can go back to drop down menu and I will choose the velocity magnitude. Yeah. So over here you can see and for example, check the values. Also, as you can see, the values are still changing because if you will hit the XY plot panel still is the calculating of the iterations. The section has been created. You can show high delete rename is up to you, or if you will spin the model, you can see directly in 3D. Also, maybe we can hide this. And I like to focus also for the ISA surfaces. So if we will specify the ISA surface, we can also select what you would like to visualize. So for example, velocity magnitude, you can specify it as the single value or you can change it. And for example, specify it as the value range. As you can see, the system is able to show for you the different result in the 2D as the section view or as the 3D in the ISO surfaces. We can also see the result not based on the streamline from the boundary surface, but also relatively to the models. We can select the boundary surface and choose that we don't want to see the release particles, but we would like to see for selected objects, you can select object from the menu and directly for a selected objects, you can select that you would like to see the particles. You are able to change the number of particles And also you can specify the direction. 
The best practice is if you select direction on the both. So what does it mean? You will see the result. What is happened in front of the car and behind the car? In this video tutorial, you have seen how it is possible to manually create a project for the flow external analysis, how to specify the simulation domains, physics modules, or how to specify the boundaries and manipulating with the streamline. Also, you have seen how to manipulate with the section view or what is the definition for the ISA surfaces features and analysis. I'd like to thank you for your questions. Stay tuned and bye-bye. Vladimir.